hello class. I was just looking at my shadow. Shadows can seem alive, but really they're just a place where the light is not shining. Something is blocking the light and making a shadow. Now, this shadow is made from the sun. Since my shadow is over here, the sun is directly opposite over here. Later in the day, the sun will move up here and my shadow will be back here. In the evening, as the sun's setting in the west, my shadow will be out to the east. Now, I say the sun is moving across the sky, but really we know that it's the earth that is rotating while the sun shines on it. So here's North America. We're on there in Albuquerque. Right now it looks like it's daytime, and then it's slowly moving away from the sun as it rotates, and now it's nighttime. I want to see how shadows change, so I'm going to take pictures of this dinosaur's shadow over the course of a day. We can watch the shadow move. Here is the shadow in the morning. Look how long it is. As the morning goes on and the sun gets higher, the shadow gets smaller and moves towards the center. At noon, there's not much shadow, and in the afternoon, the shadow gets longer and longer going the other way. Probably a lot of you have played the game North, South, East, West where you move to one of these directions and the teacher calls one out and if that's where you are then you're out. What if we don't know which way is north? We can use the sun. How could we use the sun to tell direction? Well we know that the sun rises in the east. In Albuquerque that's where the mountains are so you can easily tell where that is. And the sun sets in the west. Since we are in the northern hemisphere, the northern top of the earth, the sun is also a little bit to the south. So, at noon, the sun will be right overhead, but a little bit to the south, and our shadow will point just a little bit to the north. If we were in the southern hemisphere, like Australia or South Africa or South America, then the sun would always be a little bit to the north, and our shadow would point to the south. Since the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, our shadow is going to start pointing out to the west and move to the east. Okay, if we want to find out where north is and it's not the middle of the day, there's a trick we can use. We'll need a stick and something to mark it, like some chalk or a rock or something like that. First, I'm going to place a little mark. That's where my stick is going to go, or a pencil in this case. Then I mark where the tip of the shadow is. Now I'm going to come back in 10 or 15 minutes and make a second mark where the shadow is. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's see how our shadow has moved. Put this in the same spot and look right there. Now we have our first mark that we made earlier and our second mark that we just made. If we stand so that we're facing our two marks, that way is going to be north. So for your STEM assignment today, I want you to do two things. The first is to find north using a shadow, and the second is to trace a shadow of a toy or person or other object that you have. Since we have to wait about 15 minutes in between our first and second shadows, first you should get a stick or pencil and go outside, mark the spot where you're putting it, and then mark where the first shadow is. Then find an object whose shadow you want to trace. Now you can do this outside with the sun with chalk or you can get a pencil and paper if you don't have chalk. If the sun's not working for you, you can also use a lamp inside. Just put the lamp where it makes a nice shadow on your paper and trace the shadow. You can decorate your shadow if you want, but I want you to notice what's the difference between the shadow you traced and the original object. What things are the same and what things are different. Then go back to your stick or pencil and make another marking where its shadow is now that it's been a few minutes. To find north, put your left foot on your first shadow marking and put your right foot on your second shadow marking and then you will be facing north. Stay safe, have fun, and keep observing.